Welcome back to episode 12 of, of the Sandslaver series for Legends mod. We are on the latest patch, and there has been a few changes here and there since we've been playing. Uh, a few sad ones that I'm very sad to announce, but there's some pretty cool ones I'll start first with. Uh, poison is now able to be started on your first turn of combat. You can spend zero action points to poison your weapons. Uh, for like the temporary, I think like four attacks or so, it's not too great. Uh, poison has always been something that's a bit of a disappointment in my eyes, but it's nice that they're trying to add some more balance to it. Uh, the special ammo has been nerfed, you know, the armor piercing and the broadhead arrows, the ones that give you the the bonuses and stuff when you're attacking, not just the base ones. Uh, they've been nerfed from 30% bonuses to 10%, which is quite big, uh, but, you know, we'll have to live with it. Uh, but... There's been a few things here, and there's been a changes with the spawning of nomads, some of the indebted have been changed. Uh, a few things here and there, but the main one that makes me really sad... Oh, is Witch Hunter Helm also doesn't give you night vision anymore, which is... Which is really sad, because that used to be really strong. Uh, now it gives you, like, five resolve against mental attacks, which is kinda garbage. But, you know, there's been a bit of weird stat changes and stuff, but that's just because I haven't been updated to the most recent series in a while. But the one that really depresses me the most is, uh, Jester Hats are now absolute garbage. As you can see. And as you can see, our guys here do not have it equipped, because it is 99% of the time completely useless. Having the taunt skill for free is great. Uh, make enemies more likely to attack you is great if you want to put this on a tank, because this helps your tanks be more tanks, but negative three melee defense for surrounding enemy is kind of rough. And yeah, the lack of the head chance, it makes me really sad. But there's nothing I can do about it, we just have to live with it. Uh, I can protest all I want, but it's not going to change. But yeah, it's just, just very depressing to see that, but we'll live without it, we'll try and still do our headhunting builds. We still have beautiful 65% chance at the head when we are working with our uh, jugglers. If they ever get rid of hair splitter, then I'm going to riot. But for the moment, I don't need to riot completely. And we'll still try and get working on that push the advantage, because that's going to hopefully make this build just even stronger. Uh, still, it's only going to cap out at 85 instead of 95%, which is kind of sad. But that mixed with Headhunter, if we get it, possibly, I don't know if we have enough perks for the build. But if possible, then it'll make it a bit more consistent. Anyways, we are ready to take on the Holy War today. I want us to start and begin defending the South, because we were born there. We started this campaign in the South, and we're going to end it keeping the South on our side. Now, at making enemies of literally everything north of this line, pretty much is going to be really hard, and one of the reasons why I've never allied the South before, because having like 35 allies versus 3, you do the math. I, I've done the math, and I don't like it. Uh, so, <laughs> let's do it! Uh, the quickest way we can get to the South, I think, we can't teleport to Sandkirk, can we? No, we cannot. So we'll have to teleport back to Grafenhaven. Which will cost us 740. That's not too bad. We did stack up a bunch of cash last episode to make sure we were ready for this. Uh, in terms of selling, I did fix up this inventory. And 19 is good enough. So, actually, before we go, we have a bit of salvaging to do. Eh, 240 is not the best. I will take throwing nets before we leave. <laughs> I'm using you guys for as much as we can before we ditch. And medical supplies we don't desperately need. Food? Nah, we can always do a little bit of food. We are a hungry bunch. Okay, let's quickly camp before we go home. And we got a few newbies here to help us out. Unfortunately going to be eating us out of house and home. As is the usual. But we'll see what we can do. Get a beautiful stack of tools. Hydra, what are you doing, my man? Carousing with ladies on the tavern. Nice. And everyone's impressed. Good job, man. 
Uh, tools wise, we can care up to 313, so we are set. Definitely raking in the free tools. And a few bits of meds, because we are probably going to need them. Organize your inventory, weirdly enough, puts flails at the top, so just to warn you guys with these new updates. Uh, is there anything else I'm forgetting? Not really. Yeah, that should be fine. We lose a lot of shields every now and again, so having a few bits of stock is not a bad idea. Let's go and sell for, what is it, 19 still? Sure. Buy Jester Hats. Like, as much as I want to put this on our tanks, especially our indebted tanks, are not good enough for this. If you have an ultimate amazing mega tank that has, like, 70-plus melee defense with every perk that's amazing under the sun, including Underdog, then maybe a Jester Hat is for you. But even then, you can just spend a single perk point to just get taunt yourself if you're desperate. It's just... It's not worth it. That's just the sad part. It's now a completely useless item. Unless you really, really want a free taunt. I'm, I'm sure certain situations it could have a use, but it's not as useful as it could have been. Anyways, off of that topic, let's continue. We need to get rid of some of our inventory slots. 60 to 80, 55 to 80. I thought we upgraded our weapons, didn't we? We've got Pike's practical on everyone. Malachi is the only person we haven't upgraded. So I apologize for forgetting that. But other than that, it looks good. So we can get rid of the ancient, right? 40 to 70, 55 to 80. Okay. Getting rid of the hooks. Because weirdly enough, the ancient bladed is better. Uh, let's get rid of some of the swords because we don't really need them. The Kopesh... No, no, no. The Cleaver, Crypt Cleaver, is not as good as the two-handed Scimitar. But I do like keeping those Kopeshes. I think the two-handed Kopesh got nerfed to be like an orc weapon, so it costs an extra five fatigue. So when you get the two-handed version of these, it's going to be very heavy to swing. And I, I guess that kind of makes sense. Also, we probably don't need those. Really don't need those. Probably don't need the Morning Star. Don't want to regret that decision, but we probably don't need it. Other than that, we can get rid of that. There we go. Sweet. Let's get these uh, copper ingots because they've gone down a teeny weeny in price. <laughs> Let's just keep that food as high as possible. And this is not going to interest us, is, is it? Thousand dollar follow the tracks. You know what? Screw you guys in the north. We're done with you asking us to follow tracks. We're going to the south. We'll still use your boats to get away from it all. And still abuse your marketplaces. What else do you have for us? Bit of food. And copper for 490. Yeah, sure, we're gonna make some cash out of that. My goodness. We just paid for that boat ride almost. Stock up on nets. Just in case it's an emergency, and yeah, let's declare war on these jerks. Because they're attacking our homelands. Look at all those fights, sheesh. Oh boy, the poor South might not be taking this war very well. Can we assist in any way possible? No, that's driving off nomads. That's, that's not what you want us to do, right? Yes! That is what we want to do, although that's probably going to kill us, because that is super hard. Okay. As much as I really want to do this quest, 8.5 grand is a bit of a push. It, it, it's, it's a lot of money. Can we get more nets on people? <laughs> Just how can we utilize this as much as possible? Stefan, you got quick hands and all that. Maybe you can have a net. Hydra already has his. We'll just put nets on our back people as much as possible. Everybody gets a net. You get a net. I feel like Oprah here. Everyone gets a net. Except Dreth. You don't get a net. Actually, wait. 
<laughs> Dreth is the perfect person to have a net. Except I could give him a shield and then he'd stay alive a bit longer. Or I could just give him a net. And Savannah, you're technically not a backliner. So I don't think I should give you a net. And you're level 2, so... Yeah, maybe not. Okay, so now we're in Net City, basically. And I desperately want bags and belts for Dreth, but he doesn't get it. Sad, sad days. But we'll live with it. We'll live with it. Weaponsmith, is there anything we're desperate for? You have nothing, because you are in horrible situations. And same with the armory. I don't even know why I'm checking the Alchemist. It's not going to have anything. Marketplace is also looking pretty empty. We'll grab the, the rice just to keep the food going. Okay, um, I'm thinking of easing us off into this with the Nomad fight. It could get us a few levels, could get us some XP, could make it easier on us. And then ease us into a big fight for today. Okay, let's let's do that. Let's get a nice nomad fight. Make us feel good about ourselves. And then we can beat up these annoying northerners. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good to me. And we have no idea what's in there. But taking them at nighttime is not a bad idea. I mean we have a good amount of range on the party. But then again, nomads do as well, so screw it. Let's go at night fights. 24. Oof. Okay. What does that mean for us, though? It means I need to get rid of cactuses. Nice. Gotta be worried about those. Okay, how's it looking? Not too many shields. 38%, I'd probably whip instead. Oh, oh. Okay. I'm glad we've got nets. You are a scary boy. And you have a very big weapon. And you don't. <laughs> it's like the comparison. Big? Not so big. Uh, major pain. Let's just crack that whip a little bit. Uh, half Dan, you might be able to join this, so I'm just gonna wait patiently. Because someone might be stupid enough to walk forward. Uh, Dreth. Actually, I don't care about this guy for the next turn. We don't need to waste a net on him. Because he has some stupid person sitting in front of him. So, unless they rotate. Please tell me he doesn't have rotate. Right? The, oh, he has rotation. Oh, the darn cutthroat. That could be bad. Okay, Scabble, this might be a bad situation, but we'll see what we can do. Though we are testing this cutthroat quite well. Oh, let's just be patient. There's another one with a fancy shield that I want to steal. Will we be successful? Possibly, possibly not. Naga, nice headshot, man. McDunn, I think it's worth going here. And getting a headshot. Let's go. Uther, let's go here. Or should we go here? Big Boy's going to come across and you're going to be a problem with him. But we can slow things down with the spear wall. I wouldn't complain too much about that. Lunaris, let's wait. And Dakotas, let's go here and wait. And see what the rest of them do. Archer, I just don't want to see a Desert Stalker. Please. Just show me archers. That's it. Archers, slingers, then I'll be happy. Michael, 50% during the night. That is promising. Oh ho you don't need your jester hat. You're taking domes all the way, all the day. 
Unfortunately, 40% for Chata Viper. I might go for some whips instead. Yeah, that might have been the right call. Uh, Hydro, please get this beautiful headshot. Dang it. Stefan, what do you have? Oh, that guy's gonna be annoying. But the 85 so tempting. He's the threat. But this could hurt a lot. Yeah, I think that was worth it. Uh, half down, let's go here and whip. The plant blocks sight, so you're not going to get shot by anything, which is good. Uh, Frosty... I think I trust you to be a slightly better tank than Savannah, but I'm not sure. 34 versus Savannah's... 20. Yeah, I think I do trust it a little bit more. Spear wallet to slow things down. Dreth, can we get this? S 17? Okay, maybe not. Then maybe we go over here. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. That's a good hit. This guy's almost dead. I don't want to kill him immediately on turn one, because then that gives this executioner a reason to literally just walk into our face. Unfortunately, though, he probably still will with the rotate. But that's just a risk we're going to have to take. Uh, Savannah. <sighs> risky, risky stuff, but I think we go here. And Roxy's with the... S I'm thinking Spearwall. But I'm also thinking there's not many of them wanting to come into this situation. So shield wall, maybe? I don't know. Uh, Malachi going here is a decent decision. Because he's actually practically tanky. 20 at least. So if some guy pushes himself here with the one-on-one, -on -one, that's not bad. Uh, we will also whip Frosty because he needs it. Dakotas, I mean, sorry. Yeah, Dakotas would have been a really good whip. But technically Frosty needs it more. And Lunaris, uh, we'll just do nothing, because you've got no stamina. Nice, nice. Okay, so that's round one. Okay, southern flank is looking a little rough, I must say. Good dodge. Good dodge, Scabble. That is scary. Okay, top and middle flank, I think I've got this. Bottom flank, I, I have to make sure we stall. Stall for time. scabble has got decent armor at the moment, so I'm glad I upgraded that for you, because that was a annoying hit, but nothing came out of it. The Executioner has decided to abandon the fight. I'll live with it, and uh, make the most out of it. So let's do it. Sammy, what do we have? A lot of collateral opportunities. So I guess we just go for a random collateral, don't we? And it didn't work. Same with Michael. Okay, Michael got some lucky collaterals in there. Chat of Viper, 10... Okay, I was going to say 10% for this guy. That's a bit much. But I'm going to be happy with 40%. I'm going to be very happy with 40%. Let's go. Uh, we need to start destroying these cutthroats. This guy's probably the right call. Yeah, we'll just stay there with Hydra. I, I was thinking of moving him, but then he, he'll be fine without being moved. This guy's not going to be easy to kill. So we put our efforts north. Uh, Major Pain, what can we whip? Savannah's fine. 4534. Goodness me, the darn shield walls. But he's out of armor. This could kill. Or it could also miss. That's, that's also a thing. Let's just go for the easy kill. Proc the morale. 
solve the problems, get Killing Frenzies procced. Halfdan is ready to make a difference. Dreth, I'm not sure. I'm going to be patient with him, because he's the easy net user. Uh, also, Frosty, I'm a bit worried. Oh, Dakotas can walk here. That would be amazing. Absolutely amazing if we could do that. All of their turns are done. So I want Dakotas to go here and I want Frosty to go here. I want them to switch places, almost. And that could work out very well. Okay, let's go for the... Oh, the 92 is tempting, but I want Lunaris to do it. Let's go for the double 86. McDunn, there is nothing around. He's ditched, so let's get this kill. Oh, we don't need fatigue. Come on, Lunaris. Come on, man. Thank you. Beautiful damage. Okay. Savannah, I guess we just move one space forward for the moment. Malachi? No. No, 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 no. We wait. We wait. Nice, Dakotas. We just had enough action points, uh, enough fatigue to just get down there, so thank God he didn't hit us. That could have been insanely ruining of my strat right there if he hit a 33, 32%. Okay, that could have been bad. Uh, Dreth? You stay here. No, you stay here. One, two, three, four could be really bad. Uh, just whip somebody. There we go. Uh, let's go here and double team this guy. Savannah, I, I don't know. Let's just go here. And I want to beat up somebody without a shield. Preferably him, but that's not going to work. Holy crap. Yeah, I was worried about his hit. Malachi's a tank, but he's not, like, an effective tank yet. As you can see. Oh boy, bottom flank. That was also something I was worried about. Shivers. This just makes me a little bit worried about the northerner fight. 64, please, Hydro. Let's go! That's the kill we needed. Top flank is fine. It's bottom flank that needs the help. Let's go for this guy. Executioner is scary. Can we get the 72 instead? Half Dan, you are on fire. Stefan, nicely done. Shadow Viper, I don't know for the moment, but 38 is not the worst thing in the world. It's not the worst thing in the world when you roll a 37. Let's go! Uh, I want this free kill, please. Okay, you got that hit. I'm not complaining. Velo, bottom needs assistance. Like, like right now. And you're the person to do it, I think. Lucky hit. Can we do anything else? Sammy's not in a great collateral position, so we move closer and hopefully assist this guy. Nope. Unfortunate. Get closer and go for a crack the whip on Dakotas. Nice. Scabbled with the beautiful kill. Naga with the assist there. Dreth with the net into the 46. Nice. Savannah, I want you to shield wall. I'm sorry. You are not ready to fight an executioner. 30%. Frosty, I feel like you might go to 3.0 sometime soon. Because that's not looking so great. McDunn needs to do the damage right now. It's because I said it, right? It's because I said we needed it. 60s, 50s... Wow! Okay, this is not going well. 
That's the fancy leader as well. Okay, he might die on the way out if we're lucky. Bottom flank is not having any luck. Okay, weird rotate, but that's not a problem. Scabbled is going to die. Okay, Malachi dodges some very important sword attacks. Back flank can be easily taken care of by Velo right here. Halfdan is on a warpath. Will we get this kill no way out? Probably not. Oh, come on. He dies with the bleed, doesn't he? Good. Nicely done, Hydro. Uh, I'm going to wait on your turn in case we can move you forward and be assisting somehow. Uh, Michael, can we please get rid of this guy? Thank you. 82. Beautiful Stefan. 37 with Chat of Viper. I want to do something else, but I don't think I can. Unfortunate. As much as I'm scared of this cutthroat, what's he gonna do? Walk up to Michael and hit him once? And then, like, Sammy's gonna kill him? Oh, Scabbled's gonna die. Especially with the leader sitting there in the Nomad Outlaw. It was nice knowing you, Scabbled. Uh, Halfdan could assist with this kill. I'm just thinking Velo running to here could be helpful. A little bit more than dealing with this guy. Yeah, that, that is a little bit more helpful. <sighs> Come on. Uh, Roxy's, what can we do? We can go here and wait patiently. Because he's going to die on the way out. 27. Can we push him away, Naga? No, we can't. We did try, though. Savannah, back to the shield. And we'll stab him for good luck. Or miss him for good luck. That works, too. He breaks out instantly, because it's a 75% chance. Okay, not because he has Escape Artist, because that would make me really sad. Uh, Scabbled, it's it's over, my man. I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do. Well, you poked his shield for one damage. That's something. Thirty percent, good bleed. We might need another net somewhere. Malachi with the kill. Let's go. We finally get a good hit. Uh, Lunaris, let's just be patient. Finally getting some hits on the bottom. Roxy's getting the spear. I was worried that Lunaris wasn't able to get it, so I'm glad that we left Roxy's there for a short while. And let's stop those archers from having fun, or... Yeah, we just have to stop the archers, I think. Linars can deal with that. There's only one left, and he's not a threat. Ah, <laughs> one of them rolls on a 16. Nine lives procs. Velo gets chunked. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. There's the kill I was expecting. Naka gets hit on a 63, even with his 9 lives. Rough times. He's now confident. Nomad Executioner, please don't be confident. Half Dan, you didn't even knock him down at... Oh, no. But, Savannah dodges a 62. Let's go. Also, Stefan, you need to get rid of this guy. He's being a pain. Like, a literal pain. So, good job. And 56, easy kill, but he's not a threat. 
Let's work on the 41. Hopefully we get a lucky hit. 46, okay. Fair enough. Be that way. Let's whip Naga so he doesn't die and go for a collateral. Nope, doesn't work. Uh, Velo, I want you to be patient so someone can whip you, basically. <laughs> it's the only way we can survive. We get a lucky 35, but it didn't hit him in the head, so that makes me sad. There we go. Velo's now whipped into shape. Frosty is doing his good job of as much as he can. McDunn getting those beautiful bleeds. He still has 100 health to go through. So a lot of work ahead. And unfortunately, Dreth is not getting the luck that we want. 66 Malachi with the double kill. Let's go! <sighs> Lunaris, this is not looking good. I want this 42, but I don't know if we can get it. I was hoping for too much, but even with an 87 and a 90, we wouldn't have hit anybody, so... I don't feel so bad. Nice, 57. The surrounding... Wait, 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 wait. We missed a 76? Damn. We missed two 60s. They hit two 24s. Okay, I see how this is going. He misses an 8. Okay, at least I'm happy for that. Sheesh, come on. Half Dan, we need to knock this guy down. We get a 46. That's actually good. Naga dodges twice. Unfortunately, Savannah dies. Yeah, the Executioner with his fast adaptation is really tricky to work with. And putting a net on him was great, but it did not last very long. That's a good hit. Uh, we need some more whips down here, please. Thank you. Oh boy. Uh, we need some whips up top as well, please. Somehow. Dreth, you need to whip him. 62. Malachi is finally taking some good numbers. You can't see him? What do you mean, invalid target? McDonough is an indebted. <laughs> and now we have no action. Mm, no fatigue. Oh, that's so freaking annoying. Wow, we can't even hit a 60. Uther, good job. McDonough's not going to be looking so hot after this. This executioner is actually scary. Okay, it's a lot of good dodges. Is it enough? Half Dan does hit a very beautiful injury and damage, but he's still confident. That is one confident executioner. And Malachi takes two big hits. We get a big hit for Hydro. Nice. I'm going to risk Hydro by putting him into the firing line. Fifty-five, let's go! Nine lives procced by Naga, that's fine. Come on. Michael's exhausted. Naga's on five percent. Need some whips out here, please, boys.
That's a good whip for McDonne. There's the 44. Does he have nine lives? He doesn't. He's on three health. We've got to get rid of this guy. How do we do it? Can we go here and hit him? Yeah. 25%. Sammy, can you do it? 60%. Let's go! Executioner down. Sammy is the killer. Okay. Uther still has his turn. Dreth just has to whip, I think. That's the only thing that's helpful here. That didn't do any damage, almost. 74 for the kill. Malachi is on fire, but this stupid outlaw keeps hitting him. So we need to work this outlaw somehow. Lunaris is just missing all his 60s. Double 83s are good, but it's not enough. They're starting to flee, that's good. It's all down to Naga not dying, because that would be very helpful. Half Dan can whip him to give him some help, but I don't think it's going to make a difference. I'll try. I, I don't know, but I'll try. Thirty-eight percent to save his life. We get it, but it procs his nine lives. Hydro, we gotta risk our lives. We gotta put our life on the line to save Naga, because we're losing too many people. Stefan for the forty-eight. And he does it! He does it! Naga is safe! Because this guy's turn's done. Let's go! McDonough is still bleeding. I probably shouldn't have put him there. Might have been an oversight by me, but that's okay. Vela missing is 60. That kind of sucks. I guess we whip Major Pain. Uh, Mr. Dakota's here, sorry. Uh, Naga, get the heck out of there. We want at least someone to survive this chaos. Shadow Viper, let's put you in a bit of danger. Nice. 26 doesn't hit. I wonder why. 67, Malachi does. And gets him a pierced hand. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to risk this collateral. Didn't work, but it almost worked. White flag of victory. White flag of victory. 54%. There's more white flags where that came from. We can dish out as many white flags as we want. Four turns. What happens? He dies from Hydro! Let's go! We brought it back at the last moment. The absolute last moment. Oh, feels good. But we, we, we definitely struggle, I must say. Oh, we know how to struggle. And we really don't do that much damage. We might need to buy a half Dan a really good axe or something. I mean, he does good damage. But we've got to find a way to up our usefulness with everybody. Because this is really tricky. And, obviously, we're still taking losses, so that's kind of rough. Uh, I think that's everyone. Except for the guy that's running away, which is the archer, I think. And either he runs off the map, or the game says it's over. Yeah, it's over. That's fine. So, decent XP. Please tell me we got a level up. Frosty gets his level up. Hydro gets a level up. 
We lose Savannah and Scavold, who are brand new people to the party, which is very unfortunate, but not the worst losses in the world. Uh, Naga level stays at level 3 and still survives, so that's nice to see. Uh, we get spices and some great amount of money, some great loot, some cipher shields, loving it, and some armor. I mean, that's from our guy, but you know, not bad. Very happy to see that kind of loot. And we get a free indebted added to our ranks to solve our people problem. And he's got great attack, but nothing else. Interesting. We do need more damage, so... Polearm? Question mark. We'll think about it. Anyways, that gives uh, Raike, our brand new northerner, a chance to come into the fight. And I believe... Blood Mess or Vitten? Vitten's been with us longer. So we'll let Blood Mess wait out a little bit longer before he gets a chance to die. And we'll bring Vitten into the fight. And our brand new person here, we've got Martiu. I just don't know if I'm going to say this correctly. Carmigo. No, Cam Camigo. Oh my goodness. Camargo. Marteu Car Camargo. There we are. Welcome to the team. And I'm sorry if I butchered your name. That is what I usually do best. Uh, let's put some armor on there. Give you a decent shield. Let's also sort out our frontliners with better shields, please. Because uh, we do love our cypher shields a lot. Frosty, congrats on the level up. And the half-decent stats, especially the three defense. That's nice. Uh, defensively, let's go for Relentless. Don't know how well we can get dodge-wise, but I mean Light already gives us a nice bonus, so we'll try and live with it. I might have to organize your armor in a way that gives you better initiative. Like this. Except put that on a 55 base. Because 55 bases are better for nimble. And that's a very good benefit as well. Let's do that. And then a tier 1. I know I gave it to somebody else. Nope, not half Dan. There we are. I gave it to Sammy. So, where is he? Frosty, my man. That robe is very, very valuable for Nimbles. And that keeps your dodge at 69, which is pretty decent. The shield's a little heavy. The spear is slightly heavy. But that should keep you at a decent amount for the moment. Obviously, we can just take that off as well. Uh, too much organizing to do, as usual. I'll sort it out eventually. There we go. And polearm for the moment. Let's give you that. Raike is meant to be defensive. I mean, he's got lumbering and hesitant, which is absolutely horrible. Um, so no initiative whatsoever. Defensively, I guess Battleforged makes the most sense. There's not much else going for him, just, just being super heavy. Yeah, sadly no, uh, whatchamacallit, Shield Expert. But I guess we go into like Nine Lives, Colossus, Resilient. Just all the super defensive perks as possible. Maybe even Pathfinder. We'll have to see. Uh, what else do we have? We have also Naga who needs a better shield. I mean, Ancient Tower Shields are good. They're not amazing, but they're good enough. So I think we should keep it. Let's repair these. 
make as much money from this fight as possible. Because the Northerners are not going to pay us once we anger them. <laughs> Definitely not. Vitin, I probably should get you some slightly better armor. That'll do. That'll do. The old breastplate. Uh, Hydro, congrats on the level up. Not bad for the two. Hoping for a little bit better, but that's okay. And we'll take the three resolve here into Axe Mastery. We're going to need it eventually. We might as well grab it now before I forget. Okay, what else do we need to do for you? Not much, but we do need to get Dreth another net because we used it already. Am I forgetting anything? Nope. Good. Let's go back and get paid and jump into a crazy fight. Now, when defending the, s the places up north for the Southern War, it's kind of like raiding parties against a town where it's multiple fights back to back. And sometimes, I don't remember if it's always, but sometimes you get a Southern fleet to help you defend or a Northern fleet, depending on which side you protect with. So having a friendly part of the team will be insanely valuable for keeping us alive because we really need it. I just wish there was more we could do. I am leaning towards getting some better armors. I'm just trying to think who needs it. Frontline wise we're doing pretty okay for most people. Yeah. Backline wise we could do a little bit better, but then again I still want them to be like nice and nimble. Have a decent amount of fatigue so they can keep whipping people. It's such a fine line in this origin, and I am not enjoying it in terms of how difficult it is. But, you know, it's also that challenge. Uh, what's the price? Is 20? Okay, let's make as much as we can. Pretty decent, if I say so myself. Yeah, that's about it. Fair enough. Food-wise, how many days? Five. Okay. When you're out defending the southern places, you might be out there for a while, so stocking up on food is a good call. Just to be safe. Okay, let's run out and grab an $8,500 quest. The Abandoned Fortress is where we need to be. Oh, I'm regretting this already. I know we need to heal up from our last fight. Oh, well, welcome to... Oh, not the entire North hates us. It's just the Suns and the Fish, basically. Let's quickly heal up, though. Because we have a bit of healing to do. Do, 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 do. We have a little bit of salvage to do, not much. Five hours of healing, we've got nine hours of repairing, so let's put people on repair instead. That's pretty decent, I don't, it's not really changing anything. and sort out most of our problems as quickly as possible. The religious fires of turmoil burn bright. The northerners have taken the ancient city. Interesting. We need to worry about... Ooh! Ooh, we get the Manhunter event! We have the option. This is a new option. I think it's specific to this origin. Hand over the indebted to me, and I will pursue their salvation accordingly. Let's go! Ha 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 ha! We get free indebted. Did we get, like, two? No way did we just get two free indebted. Um, I don't have anyone on the list, so we might have to get to 2.0s of certain people. I'm trying to remember... 
Uh, I think there's Duber Bagel. 2.0. Welcome back to the party. It's been a while. And I think, if I remember correctly, Igor is no longer with us, is he? He died a while ago. So, welcome Igor 2.0. Back to the fray. I'm not sure what we'll do with you guys, but we're going to keep you in storage for a while. <laughs> You're just going to eat too much. That's the only trick. Oh, I am not looking forward to that. Don't don't beat up our southerners, please. Oh, we need to cross the lake. Oh, don't tell we can't cross here, can we? No, we have to walk all the way around. Oh, I am not keen on Oh god, that's bad. I hate that you can't walk across this. Keep us safe, stay away. Oh, we can raid trading caravans. No, not if they finish there. They're scared of us? Let's go! Please be scared of us. Because we are actually slightly scary. Even though we're not going to attack you. Though they're not scared of us. No, 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 no. This is the most convoluted way I've ever... This is why you stock up on food. <laughs> and also why you can get more food out of it. Let's get a caravan fight whilst we're on our way. We need to replenish our food stocks, boys. And this is the easiest way to do it. Nice and easy. Are we forgetting anything? Not really. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't think we have any other ranged people other than Stefan. That is right, Stefan is a ranged person. Naga's pretty decent. Let's go for this. Start scaring them as much as possible, because we are very scary. Just a bunch of slaves in armor just chasing people down. Let's go there. We probably don't outspeed them, yeah. We're a bunch of slow slaves in armor, chasing them down. Kind of like zombies, but very similar. <laughs> Not quite the same, but similar. Okay, that's not gonna work. That is a missed 88. Interesting. 95 is good. There's a flea. And that's practically wrapped it all up. And... Raikei does miss, unfortunately, two shots. Yeah, we'll run him down. We want the XP, we want the free loot. Where possible. Raikei get whipped, and... Nicely done. Uh, what do we get from here? Some food? Uh, barely. We got a lot of tools, okay. I haven't seen a tool caravan in a very long time, so regardless... I am happy about this. I just was expecting food for some reason. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, there is a company technically after us. No, they're scared of us. Good. So the companies that are about 16 strong are worried about us, but the ones that are closer to 22 are not so worried about us. Ah, uh, the fish have the fallen star. That makes sense. I also did not know that's where the fallen star was. Did I know where that was? I don't think we knew. 
This is such an easy fight for us as well. We could try and make the most of it. The episode's getting close to the end, and I really don't think we have time for a gigantic fight. So we might end it on this shelter here. Because I don't want to drag out the episode for way too long. But we are working our way to getting this holy fight down pat, and we might have to do the gigantic fights next episode. But I am keen on just raiding these guys for free food before we go out on a gigantic quest. Because we're, we're the southern mercenaries, basically. We're going to go hunting for free stuff. We're not going to complain. Nice damage, boys. Nice. Make the most of it. Be patient, though. Yeah, I don't think Halfdan can get anywhere, so he has to start whipping. Nice, Frosty. Unfortunate by Dreth. He still has a little work to do, because what's Dreth sitting on? 50 range. Ooh, that is so rough for a cannibal. So rough. What could we possibly do to make that better for him? I have no idea. There's not much we can do to make it better. Close combat archer could make it better. By a lot. Oh, that's for damage, not for... We're not playing PTR at the moment, we're playing normal legends. Ballistics, I guess? Yeesh, rough times. That's why I'm just happy that he's got nets now. Because he can do so much more. Oh, we can do faint! I love faint. Faint is so valuable. Yeah, we could definitely add faint to this build. And, like, perfect fit to reduce the fatigue costs. And Lone Wolf's a horrible idea. Clarity's a good idea. Quartermaster's a great idea. In the zone's not good. Assured Conquest could be helpful here for sure. And Fearsome's not a bad idea. And yeah, Peaceable. There's only like 1% of times you'd ever want to use Peaceable. Remove sit chance penalty when throwing spears and javelins. Thrustmaster is great. You need Thrustmaster when using spears and javelins. Uh, throwing spears and javelins. Uh, but yeah, sadly, Dreth is going to take a while before he starts getting good. Let's jump into it. Yeah, it's tricky getting some of these builds going when <laughs> we don't always have the best people in the party. But we are rotating through a decent amount of people. We'll get them eventually. Mr. Raider, you are slightly scary. But then again, not that much. Dakotas is not in the mood to attack. Good kills, good kills. Let's miss that, sadly. Try not to take too much damage in this fight, so we can easily, quickly heal up for like an hour or two hours. Nice. Okay, this should kill soon. Double 81s. Nicely done, Michael. 90 and 86. <laughs> too good. Too good indeed. Can we clean this up with a 74 and a 78? Sammy, Sammy, you are on fire as well. Vitten getting some good shots in. Dreth, unfortunately, just throwing it air at the moment. But we'll get there eventually. Stefan getting that white flag of victory. Major Pain almost stealing the kill. And, obviously, McDunn being scary as heck. 
and making the Brigand Raider flee. Dakotas with the kill. And that should almost be it. Almost. That's pretty decent. Getting as many whips in as possible. Just to get that last kill quite easily. Half Dan destroying it down south. And out of all the sweaty boys up here, who's going to steal the kill? Because it kind of looks like they're sweating, which is hilarious. Roxy's missing his 80s. Is it going to be Lunaris? It is! Amazing, amazing. Barely any damage taken. We steal a little bit of food. That is very helpful. We steal some tools, some money, and just a bunch of stuff we can salvage. So that's useful. And another free indebted. Should we take him or should we just leave him? It doesn't hurt to take them. Because then you can check their stats. And also get free armor. Though insecure is pretty bad. Ranged and dead is also not so great. I have mixed feelings about these guys. They're not super amazing. But Weasel is a actually... Weirdly enough, on an undeaded... Weasel's not a bad trait to have. Because they are going to be fleeing a lot. And if you, for some reason, can't get to your Indebted in time whilst they're fleeing, it's actually going to help save their lives. So I'm not upset about seeing Weasel there. I'm kind of sad to see Insecure, because just Insecure is annoying. And Brute and Short-Sighted is annoying, but not the worst thing in the world. But Roxy's, let's celebrate your beautiful level up. And... I hate the rolls, but we have to take the melee skill, because accuracy is sadly very important. Oh, Craven. Oh, Craven. Why are you the worst trait in the f world to ever have? We'll take perfect fit to make life easier. You are not perfectly fit. <gasps> that is why, because you have such heavy armor. Yeah, I forgot I stacked you up with some really good armor. Okay, now you're perfectly fit with 150. That's not bad. I can be happy with that. Uh, should we give this beautiful scale armor to someone else? Technically, Reike is going to be Battleforged, so giving it to him is not a bad idea. Velo, can we risk giving you a Reinforced? Yes, we can, and it is actually worth it for you, so let's keep that on you. And we're pretty much happy. Let's sort these things out before we have to worry about them. Might salvage a couple of those, just because we have too many of them. Having too many of things, you know really stocks up this inventory, doesn't it? And mainly, we can get a lot of tools from these. Don't need that. Don't need that. And as much as I'm loving the peasant flail idea, I know Stefan wants a flail, but the peasant flail just sucks, man just does. This late in the game, it's not going to do any damage. So we'll abandon that for now. We just need to hunt for a better flail. Okay, and before we do that, let's spend an hour or two salvaging. Oh my goodness, we have a lot to salvage. It's going to be a lot more than just an hour or two. Two hours to repair, three hours for hit points, eleven hours for salvaging. Not 
bad indeed. Our tools are insanely stacked. Could use a little bit more food. God, you guys in reserve eat way too much more food. We desperately, desperately need Quartermaster. Okay, so we move on to our goal. Very, very busy highway. You don't hate us, which is very nice. Oh, is this going to be a fight, like, immediately? Yes, it is, right? Yeah, as soon as you click on it, an enemy party attacks you from a distance. So from some direction, they're going to be advancing towards us. And I really hope an ally will be able to help us, because I don't see them at the moment. Anyways, that's all for next episode. Uh, I don't want to get into a giant fight when we're already out of time. Uh, and it's probably going to be more than one fight. You get ambushed by one, and then you gotta, like, defend it for a bit or something. Don't stray too far away. You gotta stay here the entire time. So if you stray too far away from this quest, it fails. If you lose, like, a fight or something and abandon it, I think you fail as well. It's just... These are not easy quests, the Holy War quests. So I, I don't know if we have it in us. But we'll have to see if the party has the ability to win next episode. Uh, with all of our spare nets, because that is probably going to be a big key part of it. And fighting at night just might help. Or it just might hinder us. We'll have to see. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the series so far. And yeah, the Holy War begins with us declaring war on most enemies of the North, depending on how the other quests go. But yeah, we'll have to see how this goes the next episode. Catch us the next one. See us.